perfect love is not thinking about how we should try to love God. It's understanding how much he loves us. Mm -hmm. So in a COVID-19, you know, weird season that we're in, we should be dwelling on God's love for us. Because mm -hmm. that casts out fear. Yes. Can you speak on that? First of all, uh, I have to be careful talking about that because that's a... Uh, that's an area that's really sensitive to the core of my relationship with God. Mm -hmm. I, the one thing that I know for sure is, is that he is for me. Yes. I have always known that he is for me. Yeah. Uh, that helped me when others were against me. Mm -hmm. I knew that God wasn't on the fence about me, mm -hmm. that he loved me. Mm -hmm. He may have to chastise me. He may have to correct me. He's not always loved everything I did, but so far as loving me, you have to be sure that he loves you. Number two, agree with him about that love. Wow. If you disagree with him and take your opinion out of it and just say, Lord, I don't see what in the world you see in me. I don't understand it. I can't relate to it. But I, by faith, agree with you in loving me mm -hmm. so that there is no discord between me and my creator that I am valuable. And that casts out fear. That casts out fear of people of your own failures, of your own insecurities, of your own incompetence. Everything they said I couldn't do, I ended up doing it because I agreed with God. Mm -hmm. I could have agreed with the teacher who said I'd never be a great writer. She said, you write too colorful. You know, the, the, the <laughs> sun dripped down beneath an alabaster sky and cascaded down into the leaves as they danced in the wind down into Come darkness <laughs> as the evening ebbed upon the night. I like to write like that. Okay. That's, that, that, <laughs> you just wrote a it. song. <laughs> that, I, I like to write like that. They were trying to teach me how to write like a journalist. Yeah. Succinct, mm -hmm. just the facts, no color. So she uh -huh. X'd up all my papers and color, colored them all red and said, you'll never be a great writer. And I've had maybe 15 books on the best New York yeah. bestsellers list. <laughs> you, you cannot agree with the adversary, you have to agree with what God says about you. Yes. And if God says that about you, agree with him. If you know things about yourself that make you feel unlovable, if you've made mistakes and, and you're still in shame and guilt, just agree with God about you, that he, he thought enough of you to send his son to die on the cross and traded him for you that he would get the judgment that you were worthy of so that you could get the life that you could never earn. Mm. That is the gospel. Lead message. him to the Lord. If you, if you can understand that in your heart and in your spirit, I know what it is to walk in shame and guilt and grief and confusion about myself and feel so unworthy of his grace and mercy. But listen, friend, when God saw you and saw his son, he chose you. My goodness. And he offered up his only begotten son that whosoever, that's got to be me and you, whosoever believeth on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Maybe in all the disruption of COVID-19, God has gotten your attention that there's more to life than stuff. All the stuff is shaking. All the universities are shaking, the medical centers, everything's shaking. The only thing that's not shaking is God. Wow. I want to challenge you to build your faith on something that will not shake. And if I could, in this moment, just pray with you that you could be stabilized. I know your life is shaky. I know you don't know how you're going to pay next month's rent, but let's stabilize you and then we can stabilize it. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. I need you like I never needed you. Thank you, Lord. Come into my heart. Ah, forgive my many sins. The atrocities that keep me up at night. The embarrassing shenanigans that made me hide my face from you. I'm so sorry I ran from you. Now I run to you. I give you my life. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and give me new life and purpose, and let me agree with you that I am valuable, 
because you say so. I accept you as my Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. amen. Friend, it's well. It is well with your soul.